Hi, until now I have stayed with sharing one sutra a day uh, because uh, it's hard for people who aren't really doing it for uh, uh, their day job to process much more than that at a time. <coughs> However, uh, following the sutra Shashtisthane Yoga, Shashtisthane Yoga, uh, which as you know I feel is somewhat the uh, a, a locomotive of the grammar in terms of uh, substitutions and uh, that are crucial to so many functions. <laughs> If that's the locomotive, then the next four sutras, in a way, are the rules of the road. And other things being equal, meaning not otherwise enjoined, these four sutras determine where an adesha, a substitute, which has been uh, described in the shashti, and by virtue of shashti's tani yoga, uh, where a substitute enjoined by shashti comes. So I'm going to first uh, just touch on the four sutras we're talking about today because they uh, we're doing them together because they really don't make a lot of sense unless you do. Uh, so an adesha enjoined by shashti comes in place of, and this is the kind of general default concept, alontyasya. Alontyasya, the final letter, okay, of a sound sequence. Then 1153, nitcha, nitcha. That means nitcha, nit is one that has m for it. So also one that has m for it comes alontyasya in place of the final one only. Okay, so that sounds a little redundant, but we can have faith that parmi ni didn't fall asleep at, on the job uh, and pop in a whole sutra that is uh, completely unnecessary. And we'll see why. Then after that, 1154 says, Adev Parasya. Adev Parasya. One, an Adesha that comes in place of one that follows, meaning a sound sequence that follows it comes in place not of alontyasya, the final one, but adehi, in place of the first letter, adehi. So if it's an adesha is enjoined by shashtis tane yoga to a following sequence of sounds, then it comes to the first sound. Oh, finally, the grand finale, 1155, anekal shit sarvasya, anekal shit sarvasya. So, if an adesha is multi-lettered, aneka, aneka al, uh, or it has sh for it, sh, it, sh, another bahuvarhi compound having sh for it, then it comes in place, sarvasya, of everything, of the works, whatever that group of sounds is. So, alontyasya, the uh, Default concept, alotyasya. So, alaha antyasya, alaha being shashti of al, a letter, and uh, to uh, stretch it out, <coughs> antyasya alaha stane adeshaha bhavati. Antyasya alaha stane adeshaha bhavati. So, an adesha comes in place of the final letter. And Adesha comes in place of the final letter. So that's kind of easy to understand. An example is the Sutra 7 to 102, Tyada di Namaha, which uh, enjoins that A should come in place of Tyad. A should come in place of Tyad. Well, uh, in this case, Ah, this is a good thing we can mention, just to point out. Ah, is guna, right? But it's not being enjoined by the word gunaha, which is why that's so important. Um, that sutra is so important, because it makes it an important distinction. Otherwise, it would be all chaos. So, ah is a guna, but it's not enjoined by the word guna. So, in place of tyad, ah comes. But in what? Place of what? Is There's no guna rule, 
Um, so is it the whole thing? Tyad disappears and uh, is there? Well, because of this sutra, we know that uh, Tyad comes alontyasya, alontyasya, in place of the final one, since none of the other rules apply. So alontyasya, Tyad, astane, you could say. And what is the al antaha, or the, the final letter uh, of al? It's the. So a comes to tiad, replacing just the d. So in place of tia with a hresva a, you have tia. That's it. Now, for this somewhat enigmatic nitcha. Nitcha. So this says, uh, first of all, nit is a behuvri compound. Um, as have other similar constructions. I'm mentioning it because this is where Prabhakar Shastri mentioned it in our lessons, so I'm, I'm just following that guide. So, nyit chas behuvrihi concept, meaning that one which has m for it, m for it. So, it has the anuvrtihi of alaha antyasya, alaha antyasya, Adyaharaha adeshaha bhavati. Now you'll notice that um, adyaharaha come and go, and again, in this I'm also just following um, Prabhakar Shastri's lead. At this point in what we're doing, it helps uh, kind of um, grasp the logic of how the sutras are uh, formed, and down the line it'll just be intuitive, so you, you won't need the fillers as much. So uh, we could say that the full sutra would be nit adeshaha antyasya alaha stane bhavati. So nit adeshaha, and adesha, which has n for it, also comes antyasya alaha stane in place of the final al, which is completely uh, just reaffirming what Elontius has said. So you might think, well, what's the point of that? Um, but since Panini doesn't waste time and space and energy, uh, we'll find out uh, not in not very long. So now the next sutra, Adev Parasya, Adev Parasya, So, Adehe is Shashti of Adi first. Parasya is Shashti of Para, the following or later one. Anuvrtihi is Allah. Adyaharaha stane adeshaha bhavati. So, the expanded sutra is. Parasya stane adeshaha bhavati. Sorry, parasya stane adeshaha adehe alaha stane bhavati. Parasya stane adeshaha adehe alaha stane bhavati. And adesha enjoined in place of a following one, parasya, a following one comes in place of adehe alaha, adehe alaha, not the final letter, but the first letter. So if a group of sounds is following the sound formation that includes the adesha, then it comes, the adesha comes not in place of the first, of the last letter, but in place of the first, which is kind of logical. Um, so, uh, then we have an example in which um, the rules says that when up follows dvi or antar, e, dirga e comes in place of up. When up follows either dvi or antar, e comes in place of up. So an example of that would be dvi, 
plus up. Now, so we would think, well, what, what, what do we do? Um, uh, uh, so uh, by what we have been um, uh, saying, alone just yeah, if uh, um, E is coming in place of up, it would be coming in place of the P, the alone However, because up is following V, it's a following one, then the uh, E comes in place not of p, but in place of the a, uh, of up. So the result of dv plus up is dvip. dv plus up is dvip. And since up is <coughs> following the adesha, then it is the e, the uh, uh, is replaced by dirga e. So this is an, a, 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 uh, an exception <coughs> to 1152, and it's an exception to a lontiasya. Now that is a common structure in the grammar, where a sutra gives a basic principle and then refines it uh, by a series of qualifications. <coughs> now, one one fifty five an ekal shit sarvasya an ekal shit sarvasya aneka al a non single lettered sh or sh it one that has sh for it sarvasya adyaharaha adesha hastane bhavati so full sutra is anekal shit adesha sarvasya stane bhavati so, an adesha, a substitute, which is either aneka al, multi-lettered, or sh it has sh for it, comes in place of the whole, comes in place of the whole. So, one that we are at least intuitively aware of, <coughs> there is a, a sutra 2453, Bruvo vachi, bruvo vachi. So this has to do with the root bru. <coughs> so in this case, it's enjoining vach as an adesha in place of bru, bru. So in this case, vach is the adesha, and vach is an ekal. It's multi-lettered. So in this case, bru is literally completely replaced by vach. And that happens, for instance, in the future, formation of the future of bru, which is vakta. And that's how vakta comes from the root bru. Pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we have 7121, ashtabya aush, ashtabya aush. And here, after the stem of ashta, aush comes in place of shas and jas. So those are uh, terminations. So after the stem ashta, aush comes in place of chas and shas and jas. So since aush is shit, it's not aneka. It's only got one vowel. The actual adesha is au, but it has sh for it. So it comes in place of the whole. So in the, in the formation of these forms, nominative and accusative forms, <coughs> uh, au comes in place of all of shas and jas. So, uh, if we take that along with the two exceptions that we have, we have pretty much covered the rules of the road for Shashti Stane Yoga. And I'll just uh, repeat them, and hopefully they will be a little more meaningful than they were before we started. So the uh, general default idea is Alontyasya. If a Adesha is uh, 
enjoined by Shashti, by Shashti Stane Yoga, it, it will, other things being equal, come alone to us, yeah, in, in place of the final letter. <clears throat> this will also happen with nit, nit, if having n for it. Um, if it's enjoined in place of one that follows, it comes adehe, adehe parasya. And if it is either multi-lettered or has shit for it, it comes sarvasya, stane. Now, the one thing I haven't done is uh, <coughs> given the example for nitcha. So I will just uh, uh, describe it for you, which is that a multi-lettered adesha, which has m for it, comes in place of the final letter. So the reason there's nitcha there is it overrules uh, anekashit sarvasya. So even if something's multi-lettered, if it has m for it, then it comes alontyasya. Take care.